Hey, what's going on guys? Zay from Wake Up It's Football. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I also have links to my Facebook and Twitter down below in the description. But huge trade going on in the NFL today. It's uh, four or five days before the draft. You have Darrell Revis headed from New York to Tampa Bay to take a physical, negotiating a contract there with the Buccaneers. And what happens is uh, Darrell Revis, arguably one of the best cornerbacks in the league, is now a Buccaneer. The Jets are going to receive a handful of draft selections, including the 13th overall pick in the 2013 draft, which means the Jets are going to be drafting at 9th overall, and they're going to be drafting 13th overall, which has a lot of implications. Uh, getting to Darrell Revis first, you have Revis at cornerback if he does pass his physical, everything goes according to plan. Uh, you have Revis at cornerback, you have Deshaun Goldston at safety, Mark Barron at safety, and Eric Wright at the other cornerback position. Wright didn't play too well last season, but the point is if he bounces back, that could be the best secondary in the NFL. Uh, Revis coming off of his ACL injury, I don't see that being a huge problem. You know, you, you've seen guys like Adrian Peterson bounce back, even though that was probably a rare case. You see Robert Griffin rehabbing his knee. Um, it's possible to come back from these injuries now. So the Buccaneers are set to have one of the best secondaries in the NFL. The Jets are about to have a whole bunch of draft picks from the Buccaneers. What does this mean for the 2013 NFL draft? Well, I'm hearing from around the league and a lot of executives that they believe the Jets are going to head in the direction where they draft Geno Smith at number 9 overall and they draft Tavon Austin at number 13 overall. They keep that West Virginia connection there. Tavon Austin will be the slot receiver. Geno Smith will compete with Mark Sanchez for the starting job. Uh, it, really interesting dynamic. You don't really see that nowadays in the drafts where two college teammates will team up again in the NFL and, and high prospects being at that. So there's a high chance, there's a high probability that that's what the Jets do. The only problem is uh, you have the Cardinals at 7 who need a quarterback. I know they have Carson Palmer, but they're going to invest in the future at that position as well. I don't see them going quarterback in the first round, probably an offensive lineman there. At number 8, you got the Buffalo Bills. Um, I can see Ryan Nassib being their quarterback selection, whether it be in the second round or they trade up for him in, you know, late in the first. You have Doug Marone there as their head coach, who was the Syracuse head coach, and Ryan Nassib was the quarterback at Syracuse, so that would make sense. If Geno Smith falls to number 9, I, I'm going to put him there. I'm going to put him to the Jets. My 1.0 mock draft, that's where I had him. I originally thought that could be the pick for the Jets if no one selects him. Um, switching it up after my 2.0, 3.0, my final mock, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I'm going to have Geno Smith at number 9, and if the trade goes you know, through... I'm going to have Tavon Austin at 13th to the Jets. It makes sense. That's what I'm hearing. That's where I'm going to put them. I want to know what you guys think. Throw your comments down below. Do the Jets um, pull the? Do the Jets draft Geno and Tavon? Um, what do you guys think about Jarrell Revis being a Buccaneer and any other implications from this draft? Um, and how does your guys' mock draft look? Because uh, I know I have to restructure mine. So throw all your comments down below. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. But that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out.